This our professor from Strathclyde University who works on these things with his team has now come up with this prediction of the vote share in the European elections of 2009. Jeremy Vine has the figures. Jeremy. David, I will give you this prediction of where we think the night will end up. One important rider, we haven't really got enough results from the southeast of England yet, and that is the most populous of all the regions, so these figures may change. But this is where we think this election night is heading. I'll give you the figures. Here we go. Conservatives on 27% in the lead. Second place... UK Independence Party, 17%, higher than they were five years ago. Driven down to 16%, exactly the figure that Polly Toynbee was just saying, uh, the Labour Party in third place there. Now, they were 23% five years ago, so that's a, a major fall for Labour here. And they are lucky in only one respect, that the Lib Dems have uh, performed less well than they did five years ago, so it's the Liberal Democrats who are in fourth place there with 14%. So I'll just take you back to the beginning here so you can take these figures in. Very important, this will be, if, if they are robust, this will be the percentages that the politicians and the viewers take away from tonight. Conservatives, 27. UKIP, second place with 17. Labour, 16%. And then you see the Lib Dems in fourth place. And then the Greens, 9%. Uh, BMP, that is, on 6%. Scottish Nationalists uh, and the Welsh Nationalists, obviously, once you project their figures across the nation, they look very small, but the Scottish Nationalists particularly doing very, very well, as we've been hearing. And those are our predicted shares of the vote. David. Thanks very much, Jeremy.